This man smiled and pulled open his girlfriend's clothes, asking her to seduce the cable car administrator over there. The girlfriend was speechless. It turned out that her boyfriend Danny brought his good friends to ski, but they didn't have enough money to buy tickets. So he came up with a way to evade tickets by using the beauty trap. Although the girlfriend thought this plan was somewhat inappropriate, she still agreed. She walked up to the administrator, asked him for a cigarette. Then she lied that she and the good sisters came to ski, but forgot to bring the credit card when going out, asking if it was possible to be accommodating. The administrator was imagining encountering three beautiful women. So so he readily agreed, but when he saw the girl walking over with the men, his face immediately became gloomy. Before he could react, the three quickly got on the cable car and left. In that evening, the three came to the ski resort again, but this time, they were rejected by the administrator due to the weather. However, Danny threatened the administrator. If they weren't allowed in, he would report his private release during the day. The administrator looked helpless. He could only agree to let them play one more time. The three got on the cable car, but didn't know this would be the decision they regretted the most in their lives. The girl woke up. She found that her hand was frouncing to the railing. She endured the pain and forcibly pulled her frouncing hand off the railing. Most of the skin on her hand was torn off. Even worse, the skin on the girl's face also suffered severe frostbite. She and Joe had been trapped on the cable car for a day and a night. Hunger and cold keep attacking them to save themselves. Joe decided to climb along the cable to the pillar and then climb down from the pillar. He held the cable tightly with both hands, used all his strength to move forward little by little. At this time, a gray shadow flashed below. It was the hungry wolf, waiting for Joe to fall down below. Joe struggled to climb onto the second cable car. Both hands were ground bloody and raw. He looked down, saw the hungry wolf staring at him. So he asked the girl to throw the ski pole over, to have something to defend himself after he got down. The girl picked up the ski pole, threw it to Joe with all her strength. Immediately after, Joe grabbed the cable again and crawled forward. He didn't care about the injury on his hand, moved forward at a faster speed. Finally, he successfully climbed onto the pillar, then climbed down along the steel ladder. However, just when he got the ski pole, a hungry wolf suddenly pounced on him.